Hello, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Liette with DIY Beauty Lab, and today I will be showing you how I use Gua Sha to increase circulation and firm and tone my skin. So if you wanna know more about this amazing product, I would love it if you'd stick around. Here at DIY Beauty Lab, I figure out how to do anything that you can get done at a med spa from home. Did you know you can get all the devices and products that med spas use online for at home use? If you wanna hear more about it, definitely subscribe to my channel and like this video and don't forget to hit the notification bell if you wanna know every time a new video comes out on Wednesdays. So Gua Sha is a healing technique used in traditional Eastern Asian medicine. Gua Sha is the use of stones in a lubricated area of the body surface that removes a blood stagnation, therefore increasing circulation. Gua Sha can also benefit the immune system and reduce inflammation. Sometimes Gua Sha is used to treat a cold, a fever, or problems with the lungs. Small injuries to the body, such as the bruises caused by Gua Sha, are sometimes known as microtrauma. Um, these create a response in the body that may help break up scar tissue, um, so it's actually really beneficial. So let's go ahead and get started. So first you're gonna need a Gua Sha stone. They come in different colors. They sometimes are black. This is a jade one. Um, they come in different shapes and sizes. Today we are gonna use this one right here. They have all different types that you can purchase. Um, they all have different purposes. I prefer just to use one, it just makes it easier so I'm not having to carry around five different stones. So first you want to wash and cleanse your face. Next you want to apply an oil that will allow the stone to glide smoothly on your skin. I personally just use any type of oil that I happen to have around the house. I love to pick up oils from Marshalls. They always have really good ones. And so this one I got, it's a rosehip and vitamin E oil. Um, also, I love to use just like hyaluronic acid sometimes, just whatever will kind of create a slick on your skin. Now, when it comes to actually using the stone, something that's very important is you never want to use it straight up and down on the sharper edge here. You always want to make sure that the stone is flat to your skin as you are using it. So I will be using light to medium pressure as I am doing this. So when I am doing my under eyes, I'm using light pressure. And I'm using a slow and mindful speed as I'm doing this because this is supposed to be relaxing so you don't want to just rush through it. We are definitely helping calm down the nervous system and increase blood flow. So you want to go slowly. So tension begins with your neck. So we wanna start by relieving pressure in the neck first. We're gonna go ahead and start on the back of the neck. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and show you exactly what I'll be doing. So you're gonna to wanna to start as far down as you can reach, and then you're going to drag the jade stone along your spine all the way up until you hit the bone, and then you're gonna do a gentle massage back and forth. Go ahead and do this five times or more. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the sides of the neck. We're gonna go ahead and start right here on the side. And we are going to go all the way up until we hit bone, and then we're gonna massage. All the way up the side. Do it on the other side. Now we're gonna to wanna to start right here underneath the collarbone. You're going to want to place, we're gonna use this side right here. We're gonna to want to place it right here at the bottom. We're gonna go up and over the collarbone, up. When you hit the bone, a little massage. Now to 
to the other side. Over. Okay, so now we're gonna do the center of the neck. We're gonna go ahead and start at the sternum. Put your hand there. We're gonna start in the middle. We're gonna go right up the center of the neck. Once you hip bone, a little massage. Five times. Next, we're going to move on to the jaw here. So you're gonna put light pressure right here on your chin to give a little bit of a support. We're gonna turn it to the side. And turn it across all the way up once you hit the bone where your ear is, a little massage. five times or more. Now we're gonna to go to the other side. Okay, so next we are gonna be using this part and we are going to be going straight across. So we'll go ahead and hold right here. So now we are going to go ahead and do the cheekbones. So we're gonna go ahead and place our hands right here. Start right here. And you want this part to run right along your cheekbone. So we're gonna go straight back. Once you hit bone, a little massage. Again, that is five times or more. Next, we are gonna be moving on to the under eyes, and this is where you want to be very, very gentle. And so you want to, let's see here. It's hard to film and do this at the same time. So we're gonna be using just the side right here. You can use either side, we'll use this one right here. So I'm just gonna brace, and we're gonna be using very, very light pressure. And we're going up and out and out, and then once you get up to the bone, a little massage. Other side. Very light pressure here. So now we are gonna move on to doing an eye lift right here. So we're gonna go ahead and start. You're gonna gently place your hand over your eye and we are going to be using the flat part right here. We're gonna start right here and we're gonna go up and then a little massage. And you put gentle pressure on your eye, you're just holding it. five times or more. Obviously I'm not doing it five times every time because otherwise we'd be here forever, so. Perfect. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start in the middle. So there you have it. That is a quick gua sha facial massage. The great thing is, is that our skin and our faces are really open to suggestion when it comes to the direction that we do things. And so that's why it's very important when you are putting on lotions or you're doing anything like this, you want to go in upward motions. And you'll notice that my face actually, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but my face actually when I do gua sha has a more lifted look to it, especially with my eyes. My eyes after I do the, the gua sha um, eye lift, definitely looks um, a little bit more awake. And so do this often and I think you will see a huge difference in your skin, your face, um, the tone, just all around is really great for circulation. And uh, there's a reason they've been doing it for thousands of years. So I hope y'all are having a, a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you wanna know every time a new video drops on Wednesdays. Also go ahead and follow along on um, Instagram. I do a lot of behind the scenes on all the procedures. So I hope you have a fabulous day. We'll see you soon, bye-bye.